welcome back. So we continue to have clear skies across the region as we made our way through the day today. And you can see the sun just about to set at 7.07 p.m. Central Time here in uh, North Platte. We reached highs into the low to mid-60s and made our way through the day today with the sunny skies. We kept that west-northwesterly wind 20 to 30 miles per hour right now. And that was an extremely dry flow across the region, currently at 61 degrees. Here's a look at temperatures across the region. We are into the lower 60s right now toward Ogallala and Imperial, lower 60s at Broken Bow and at Lexington, and into the mid to upper 50s out toward Valentine, Hyannis and at Fedford. Here's a look at the winds, still mainly from a northwesterly direction. Sustained winds in most places right now, 20 to 25 miles per hour. But here's where some of the strongest wind gusts are. We're seeing wind gusts, especially south of I-80 and from Broken Bow and Points off to the north in the 35 to 40 mile per hour range. Now, the dew points are extremely low because of the wind. We're seeing dew points on this map, 7 degrees at Broken Bow, 18 at North Platte. Typically, we've been in the 40s to near 50. That's a normal humidity for us. So those west-northwesterly winds, very dry because of that, the entire viewing area in a red flag warning that does go until 8 p.m. We think that it might extend over the next couple of days. We'll keep our eyes on that one. And let's take a look at the um, satellite loop. And we're seeing mainly clear skies over us right now. This high pressure to our north is pumping in cooler air, but it's going to come further north. And we're going to get more of a southerly wind over the day tomorrow, but a cooler high is going to work its way in, keeping us dry as we make our way through the weekend and uh, lowering the temperature just a little. Really no rain chances ahead through most of the next week. So here's a look at the sky cast. Going to keep mainly clear skies. Going to keep that very dry west or northwesterly wind. Uh, 11 o'clock temperatures near 47 degrees. And then as we go through the overnight, falling back into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. And as we go through the day tomorrow, most of the clouds will skirt us off to the north and east. We're going to have a southerly flow, a brief one, but it will be enough in the upper atmosphere to get us into the mid-70s for most of us with mostly sunny skies. Then as we go through the overnight on Friday into Saturday, the clouds increase. That's a disturbance making its way through very little, if any, moisture with this system. Starting off your Saturday near 43 degrees, and with the clouds, we'll only make it into the mid to upper 60s for highs on Saturday. So the high to our south is really going to be in charge of our forecast as we go through your Friday. So there's the warm air from it, but you saw the clouds on the map. This disturbance makes its way through as we go through the overnight Friday into Saturday. Then a much cooler high pressure system works its way in. Still mainly dry, but uh, for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we're back to a northerly wind, and that will get temperatures down. Here's a look at your forecast for tonight. We do have clear skies, and it will be cool with uh, temperatures into the upper 30s to lower 40s as we make our way through the day tomorrow. Sunny skies, windy and warm. Temperatures making it into the mid to upper 70s. We're going to keep breezy conditions with that northwesterly wind all the way through the day on Saturday, but cooler upper 60s for most of us, maybe some areas into the lower 70s under partly cloudy skies. In fact, we barely have any chances of moisture as we go through the next week. 63 on Sunday, lots of sunshine. 61 on Monday and 64 on Tuesday. Still mainly sunny skies. 68 for Wednesday and up to 72 as we go through the day on Thursday. And we keep mostly sunny skies with little if any moisture chances. Kent? So the wind's still with us tomorrow, but uh, those temperatures are going to feel a little warmer. Yeah, a little surge of warm air before we cool down for the weekend and beyond. All right. Thanks so much, Justin. About 70 million Social Security recipients will see the